we'll title the document, as with all Google Docs, our name. So I'll be John Smith. OK. And this is how you format any essay, but this literary analysis essay as an example. So first, your name. Then your teacher's name. That's me. Then your class period. Then the date. And you do the date like this. You put the number of the day. And then you spell out the whole month. And then you put the year in numerals, 2018. OK. And skip a line. And center align the text. And don't write a title yet, but just write the word title You'll, as a placeholder. That's where your title will go, but it's not a good idea to create a title until your essay is done because it's going to change shape a lot. Okay. Then left justify the text, click tab to indent, and the essay will start here. Okay, in a minute. Uh, then double click at the top, above the text, double click up here, and click right justify, right align, excuse me, uh, and then put your last name, just your last name, and then space, and then click insert, header, page number, go down to page number, and click the one in the top left, because we're going to start writing on the first page, so we'll start numbering on the first page as well. Click on that, and then select this whole thing, and click size 12, and Times New Roman will be our font. Okay, then double click outside of that, and it will leave the header. And you'll notice that on all, well, you won't notice that yet unless I, unless I show you. Okay, we'll down here, make a new page. So you'll see that even though I entered that here because I inserted the page number, it will say Smith 2 and Smith 3 and so on, rather than just uh, entering the number. If you just enter the number, it will say Smith 1 on every page, and we don't want that. OK, uh, then select all of Control A, select everything, uh, and change that to size 12 times New Roman. Same thing. OK. And that's just formatting. This is what your essay is going to look like. And there's one last thing we need to do. Control all and change it. So click on this button with the arrow and change the line spacing to double. Okay. So now we're in MLA format and we're ready to begin. Okay. Now before we start writing anything, let's just scribble down our ideas. So we're writing about the old man in the sea. And uh, for your sample thesis statement, just jot some notes down here. Um, your thesis statement is what you think that the author is telling the world with this book. So I read The Old Man in the Sea and I decided that Ernest Hemingway is telling the world, and then this will be an independent clause, something, to, something along the lines of suffering brings benefits or something like a noble life requires endurance. Okay, that'll be a simple one. The old man actually says, help me endure, God help me endure, and he's always talking about enduring, so we'll go with that. Okay, and then I want to think of three major ideas that support this from the story. So example one would be something like the old man continues to fish even though all the other old men have retired. Okay. Example two is that uh, the old man continues to fish with hope, 
even though he's gone 84 days without a fish. And he's, this is good practice. Let's make these sentences true sentences with periods. Yes. All right. And then example three would be that the old man continues to fight the sharks until every last bit of marlin meat is gone. And then I'll link, in, as a, in the process of writing this, I'll link all of the ideas back to the thesis statement that a noble life requires endurance. So as we write example number three, let's say, um, when I'm talking about the sharks, I'll continue to describe the way that the old man is noble and we're impressed by him because he keeps fighting the sharks. Any normal person, any average person, any, anyone who isn't noble and heroic in a way uh, would, would give up. When, after the sharks start coming, uh, maybe after he lost the harpoon, he'd say, well, uh, that's it. I lost the end. I guess I'll just sail home and try again later. But out of principle, he keeps uh, fighting and fighting until it's all over. Uh, so I'll describe those things in academic language, developing the sentences to describe that. But at the root of it, the basic idea is I'm going to use this example of him fighting the sharks until it's all over to um, use as proof to say that a noble life requires endurance is the thesis statement. OK, so this is basically what my essay is going to be. Um, it's probably a good idea before you begin to take five or ten minutes to uh, to flesh this out if you haven't already or not not flesh this out um, make a skeleton of this first but you should already have this we made our thesis statement in class and we also started writing so if you wrote down one of your reasons here and it turned out to be trash as you started to write that you would have realized I don't think I can elaborate on this idea for for 12 sentences or whatever. Okay, but once you're settled on this, then you're ready to begin. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>